good. Hi guys, we're out. There's Pete. It is 30 outside, but with the sun, everything's melting on the RV. Oops, that's not what I want to show. Where's the clock? There it is. So it's about 2.28. Pam is at the uh, ATM. And then we're going to Walmart. I really want to go to the thrift store, and we'll see if she's up for that or not. My knee is, well, my whole leg actually is still killing me from yesterday, and I was going to stay home and rest it today. But she needs to go to Walmart. I need to go to Walmart. Pete needs some pants that fit him. <laughs> right, dear? I'm beginning to look like a guy with no butt. Yeah. So, anyway, that's what's going on. It's good. It's beautiful out. The sky is blue, blue, blue. Not a cloud in the sky. So I will see you guys see you later. Bye. When? Guys, guess where we are now? Yep, pumping gas again. It's 2.41.9 or 2.42 here. But yep, here we are again. Okay, see you at Walmart. Guess where we are. <laughs> and on a Saturday afternoon, I actually got a full one. Just waiting for Pete. He had to uh, go out to the car for something. So we need a new windshield wiper and he forgot to bring it in. But we're parked at the first parking by the door. Thank you again, Jesus. So I will see you guys later. People are starting to look at me. Not that I care. They can look all they want. I will see you later. Bye. Oh, stop it. Pete just rode the cart in. My leg is awful. He was able to get a pair of pants that fit. We didn't go to the Salvation Army over here, but I don't know if he still wants to go. He's down two pant sizes from 44s to 40s. Dropping weight fast. So, uh, we ended up, well, we ended up getting more than we expected. My, my most exciting buy, besides Pete's pants, those are exciting, right, dear? Yeah, especially in this cold weather. Yeah, they're lined. I can get out metal detectors all that. Yeah, yeah. That'd be good. Good. My most exciting find was super fine blanched almond meal. Now the su super fine blanched almond meal I've looked at online, it averages eight to ten dollars a pound. Here it was two pounds for eleven eighty four. I've never seen it here before, but that's my most exciting find. Pam had to go back in. She did her shopping. We saw her over here. Pete brought her out to the car to let her put her stuff in. She came back in. There was one thing she was looking for, and she wanted me to help her. Well, I circled around that department for a while, and she never showed up, and she didn't answer my text, and so we just paid and came out. And when she and Pete came in, I said, Did you find one then? Oh, darn, I forgot. She took off again, so we're sitting here. We're sitting here waiting it's right by the front door. Oh, here she comes. She's coming out. Let's see if she got one. Uh, yeah, she bought one. So, okay. I guess I will see you guys later. Bye. Okay, it's 19 out. Bees like 12. That's what Pete and I say bees like, because it's funny. Um, I opened the bird's curtains with the flannel sheet over them this morning by lifting the center of that pad off its little, or not pad, uh, rod, off its little hook, moved them over, went to hook it back over the little hook, the other end came off, all the curtains, <laughs> it was a big mess. So, Pete was my wife, so he moved Maxwell's cage down so he could reach. Had to put all the curtains back up and everything, but they're at one end. But now, to close them, ah, to close them, we have to take that. He's already, it's, I know it's 7.45. We're so exhausted from yesterday. We are still wiped out. And then today, all the stuff we did. After we went to Walmart, I was so hungry I felt almost sick and I just realized I hadn't eaten anything in almost 24 hours. You know, when you eat keto, you don't get that hungry that often. So I, um, so we stopped at G's. You guys have been to G's with us before. 
and um, I got my usual, which is a, a chicken, oh, it begins with a C. Okay, Kismet Blue, you'll know this because you know everything. <laughs> hmm. It's a sandwich with tomatoes, pesto, melted mozzarella, and then they put grilled chicken on it. Begins with a C. Anyway, they're enormous, so I ate half. I can't eat more than half. Pete, he gets confused ordering in restaurants to what he can and can't have, so I ordered for him. And I ordered him. He usually gets nachos there, so I got him a Southwest grilled chicken salad and it had some black beans on it and little corn, salsa, lots of salsa, and mostly stuff that would be keto but it would be low carb but not keto. You know, it would be considered okay if you're eating low carb, but like you wouldn't eat corn or black beans on keto, but it was just a few. It was like sprinkled for looks and tomatoes and uh, grilled chicken seasoned grilled chicken um, with like southwest type seasonings anyway and because we get like well Pam got I didn't obviously get the they have this wonderful breadsticks there and everything that are dripping with cheese and that in the old days we would have gotten that and she got a pizza and I knew that his mouth would water so I also got him some fried mozzarella sticks, which with the breading on them, like I say, if you total up his carbs for the day, I'm sure he's under 50, but it's not exactly keto, but, you know, he was happy with it, so, tomorrow is our potluck at church, and I'm not quite sure how that's going to go, I know what I'm making is keto, and I don't know about what other people are making, so... Um, I'm making the ham and onions, and, or bacon, onions, and cabbage, not in that order. Put tons of bacon and tons of cabbage and just some onions for flavor. Um, so I don't know if anybody else is going to make anything keto. So Pete will have some. And then I'm going to make him a great big fat hamburger patty. Fry it, take it too, so he can have that. And... Um, I will probably make tonight in a container, I will probably make him some, uh, with the cream I've got in there, make him some um, chocolate chia pudding. So, that'll be a good meal for him, and he'll have his dessert and all that. So, but I'll do that tonight yet. So, that's what's going on here. I spent about two hours at the keyboard. Working on my music for tomorrow because this is the first chance I've had to do it. Um, he sent it to me Thursday evening right before we went to bed. And of course, yesterday, no time. This morning, I sat down, I started to answer comments. I got to like one, <laughs> maybe two. And then just the day started rolling. And But at least I got to sleep until like 10. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be high in the mid 40s and then tomorrow night low in the 30s and then Monday high in the mid 50s and lows Monday night in the mid 40s and then it's going to start going back down again. This is the weirdest winter weather we've ever had. It is such a seesaw. February I didn't put up a TCE video. I guess February was kind of screwed up because of our news and all the testing and all that and I just my mind is not was not you know making videos wasn't my top priority so maybe I'll make two this month maybe I'll just go easy on myself and not make two um we'll see okay I can't think of anything else so I will see you guys tomorrow don't forget to pray for your pastors man pastors are under a ton of stress uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got, um, we just blew a fuse. Not blew a fuse, a circuit breaker. I do not know why, but it did. We have a lot of battery, you know, that's why we still got lights and stuff. But anything you plug in depends on electricity, either from the generator or from shore power.
So he just has to run to the garage and flip it back. I guess that's it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to pray for your pastors. They are they have one of the most stressful jobs imaginable. Yes, they have God's power to draw on and without it I don't know how I don't think they could do their jobs. So anyway, have a great Sunday. Take care. God bless and good night.